I'd like to present the sponsor of today's video, me. I offer PC optimization services. Everything is done remotely. So uh, we unblowed Windows. We ensure that everything is up to date and working correctly on your computer. And we optimize the shit out of it so you can get the best FPS possible. So that includes also settings for games. Um, and general advice on your computer. Uh, I've been doing this for 13 years now. Uh, I've worked in the industry uh, for a bit longer than that. I've been a programmer at Ubisoft and uh, I've worked in different industries, uh, but my real passion here is generally speaking, gaming uh, and PC tweaks for gaming computers in general. So thank you for uh, your interest in this video and uh, happy watching guys. First thing first, I'd like to thank BK for his contribution to uh, the filter I'm going to show you today. His link to his Twitch is going to be in the description if you want to drop by and drop a follow. And also, I'd like to explain a bit how this works and what can influence the final results you get from uh, what we're going to be talking about today. So. Uh, the filter here is profile for your monitor. So it's been extracted and it was made specifically for Tarkov. So you might want to try it in other games if you want. Uh, it's your call. Uh, in the end, the the image, the colors you're you're gonna want. It's it's all it's all a question of what you prefer. So you might not want to use exactly what I'm using today because. This is what I use on my monitor. Uh, my monitors has some different settings than yours. It might be uh, a different panel technology, might be different colors in general, or uh, just different brightness. So uh, tweak as you wish and find the best setting that works for you. So before I show you how to set it up, I just want to mention a few things that will affect the final result. So generally speaking, you have the settings on like make a big impact on your image quality in general. So make sure that you check your monitor settings. If you have something like a black equalizer on your screen, you might want to use it in games like Tarkov. Obviously, this is a big, like big plus for your your clarity, you're going to be able to see better, generally speaking. So some manufacturers on directly on the monitor have super good uh, black equalizer. So check it out. There are other settings, obviously, you could dig into, but I'd suggest maybe looking on Google with your your reference number for your monitor and check for the best settings overall. I'm pretty sure there's like reviews or people, professional people that made like the, the the good setting profile you could use. Um, secondly, there's uh, what you use on your your pilot, your drivers. So if you're on AMD or Nvidia, you have different color choices you can make. Brightness, um, digital vibrance. Uh, in the case of uh, Nvidia, um, gamma. So you might want to tweak those uh, as you wish. But I'd start out with all those to default and then move on from there uh, once you've applied uh, the filters. Also, you could have literally filters for your screen right now, color management menu on Windows. This is like tool that's not really used overall by most people. They're used to import and export profiles for calibration of your screen. So if you're a professional, you might already know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, don't worry, I'll show you how to set it up and make sure that you can switch between like a default profile and the one we we're going to use today for Tarkov because you, you you'll have to set it up manually if you want to use it. And uh, I wouldn't like use it all the time to watch videos on YouTube or even play other games. As I said, this was made specifically for Tarkov. So there's like a little trick to set it on or set it to default on your screen. So let's see how to do this. The first step is going to be to download the filter in the description. There's going to be a link there so you can download this file here. For NVIDIA users, you can also download the second file, which is going to be a registry file, which is going to unlock an option in the NVIDIA control panel if you don't have a driver that is older than like maybe two years. 
So if you're up to date, this should be working for you. Otherwise, it's just gonna do nothing. I'd like to mention also that for the filters to work, you must not be using HDR. So there's that. What we're gonna be using to import this filter is the color management menu. So if you go here on the on the, the search bar, we're gonna look for color management. You might wanna pin this to your taskbar here because you're gonna use it to set the filter on or off. As I said, you might not wanna use it all the time and just for Tarkov. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hop in the advanced menu and then we're gonna change system defaults here. Normally, you won't see anything here in the list. So if I remove my current filters here, you should have a list that looks like this. Make sure you select the right screen here. So if you play, if you have multiple monitors, you want to use the monitor which is gonna show Tarkov on screen. So if you don't know which monitor is your main monitor, you can use here identify monitors and it's gonna show you the number and just identify which monitor you're is your main monitor and then select it here what we're going to do then is go on advanced here and you're going to want to tick here use windows display calibration this is important otherwise the filter is not going to apply itself when we set it to def default once this is applied we're going to go back in the menu here and we're going to add our filters here so you might have some different profiles already in there you if you don't, like if this looks like this, you, you're gonna need some default profile, which is gonna be the one we're gonna use when we're not playing Tarkov and not using the filter we've downloaded. So you can use the sRGB here, color profile. This, this should look like your default screen. Then we're gonna add here, filter. We're gonna browse and we're gonna find a filter wherever you downloaded it and we're gonna click on it. This will add the filter to your list here. And then we want to use it here. So now we have two profiles, which we can switch to whenever we want to use one or another. So if you want to play Tarkov, what you're going to do is set this as your default profile. You should see instantly like difference on your screen. If you're an Nvidia user, and you set it as default and nothing happens so just make sure the right screen is selected make sure this is ticked you could also just redo the thing because it's sometimes buggy but otherwise you want to go to your nvidia control panel if you don't see any change in colors it might be subtle, uh, subtle depending on your screen but if you don't see any change in the colors you want to go in your nvidia control panel and you want to go into your adjust desktop color settings here and this should not be ticked so this should be un, un, unchecked so don't use override to reference mode this is gonna make the profile not load at all so it's not gonna use any profile it's gonna use directly like your your driver setting so once that's out of the way you should be using the profile so then if you want to switch from the profile to your default one, just open it again, advanced, change system defaults, and then go for your normal profile for your other needs. And then if you wanna play Tarkov, just set this to default again, close it, and we're done. For people who are cloning their screen, like streamers, there's a different way to do it. I'll, I'll make a video about it, or you can always ask me on Twitch and I'll, I'll, I'll show you. I should have a clip or a YouTube video soon about that. But otherwise, if you're not cloning your screen, this should work straight up. Now that the filters are on, you might wanna fine tune the rest of your colors and settings through your drivers. So if you're on AMD, I don't have an AMD card right now uh, to show you, but if you go into like your, uh, directly in your game settings, you will be able to change like the, with the custom color options, you're gonna be able to change the color temperature, brightness, contrast, saturation, it's all up to you. There's also the sharpness option that you can use on AMD, which is very good. And I'd recommend using that instead of the sharpness in Tarkov. So in Tarkov, you don't wanna use post effects either if you're on Nvidia or AMD. 
if you're using this filter and you tweak the settings I'm showing you right now, uh, don't use post effects. So post effects have negative impacts on performance. Uh, sometimes it's just slight. Sometimes it's it's more than that. I mean, in the end, if you want to use both, this is your call. But I wouldn't use post effects. This has mostly been done to have like the best result without using post effects. And those colors and the filter are gonna be also you you, you will see the difference in the menus in Tarkov. So this post effects are only applied when you're in a raid. So there's that. Uh, so that's what you can do with the AMD software. For NVIDIA users, there's this screen we, I shown earlier with the adjust uh, desktop color settings. Here, you might wanna uh, change the gamma and the digital vibrance. So you can use whatever you want. If your screen is still very dark, I'd say look into your monitor like options directly, like physically on your screen, you have little buttons. Check for those settings, check for black equalizer. I'm repeating myself here, but this is very important. Check your black equalizer, check your settings there. Maybe the brightness is really low on your screen. So you can always change the brightness here by uh, using, I'd say like tweak some gamma here. So if you think this is still dark a bit, you can up the gamma here, but watch out, not set it too high because this is gonna make your eyes, like your retinas burn when it's very sunny in the game. So if you have already a bright screen, you're using the filters this might be already like pretty bright but using the gamma here is going to make everything more like super super uh, the brightness is going to be too high so the, the the filter the point of using the filter is to make it so that when it's dark and when it's like plain day it's it's not going to hurt your eyes and, it, and the image is still going to be great also you can use digital vibrance at your like whatever you want so if you prefer like 100 percent, go for it this is to your liking again i prefer you to use like something like 70 percent so the game doesn't look like uh some kind of comic anime I, I don't know but you can use whatever you want so again do your your own tests and find what you like with this so for the nvidia users the second file i made you download here the is gonna call the unlock nvidia sharpening if you execute it here it's gonna make your one option show up in your manage 3d settings so first make sure your adjust image settings preview here use the advanced 3d image settings so otherwise if you use the preference and phasing none of the things we're going to change here are going to be taken into account so go manage 3d settings program settings find tarkov in the list here if it's not there you can always add and find your dot exe for tarkov once that's done if you use the unlock nvidia file here you should have a new setting which is image sharpening so if it's not showing you might want to reset like restart your nvidia control volume just close it execute the file reopen it it should show up and this is going to make your game in my opinion look way better if you like like a lot of sharpness, use this option here. You can set it to whatever you want. I use it at like 60. I used to use it a bit higher, but use it as you wish. This is this will replace the sharpness in the game. It looks way better, has no performance impact whatsoever on your FPS. So this is great. Also, if you want, you can also try the Egnor Film Grain. I set it to the to the max here at the is because this will make if, if you're streaming on twitch like i do you're gonna be using this to make your image like look better because this will help your the encoding of your image this used to help for the painkiller effect it used to almost negate completely the effect on screen so this was super good if you were streaming on twitch not to make your, your skin all blurry when you're on painkillers. Now that they're changing the effects and the effects are different, you can still be using this just to get a better image in your stream because it will make the encoder uh, job easier. So this is your call. Again, try it. If you don't like it, you can turn it off completely. I think at default, it's something like uh, 17. Use whatever you like. Personally, I like it at uh, 1.0. Uh, now let's go into the game settings. Now in the game graphics settings, you're gonna go down a bit at the bottom here and you're gonna find the sharpness option. You're gonna set this to 0 0.1, not not zero, but 0 0.1. There's a glitch, or at least there used to be a glitch, so it, it might have been fixed when you're watching this video, when you set it to zero. So 
uh, we're just avoiding it and we're gonna set this to 0.1 and we're gonna instead use the way better options we have in the NVIDIA control panel and AMD adrenaline software. So yeah, don't use the sharpness in game. It's, it's very bad. It looks bad at least. Also for post effects, as I said, I'm not using it. I wouldn't recommend using them with the filters. The whole point of the filters are to make the game look better, but not outer like performances either. So in the end, as I said, it's your call. If you want to use post effects, if you want to tweak all those settings as much, like do whatever you think look best for you. Everyone experience with this is going to be different. I, as I said, every monitor is different. You could have different options on and off. And it, in the end, it's it's do it to your liking, guys. Have some fun with the game. We all know the lighting in the game is bad. The colors are kind of bland, so if they're very bland. So if you play a lot of the game, it's kind of depressive. So if you want to have fun with the colors and things like that, it's all up to you. Just try out some some different settings and find some the what is best for you, what you, you think look the best. Uh, just have some fun with it and a good vibe, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, don't forget to comment and for sure like the video, share it with your friends and also come by on Twitch and say hi. I'm live every day. So uh, if you have any questions, don't forget to offer services also for PC optimizations, whatever, for laptops, workstation, gaming computers, NASA computers, I got you. I offer all kind of, uh, of guidance and advice on PCs in general. So uh, I'm available for, for you. The links are in the description. Thank you again. Have fun. Mm -hmm.